this is how we're rolling in Peshawar. Peshawar, that's how you say it. So we're all together in this car. We left our luggage in Islamabad. We're going to stay one night in Peshawar and then head back, so. Yeah, it's about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours to get here. Hey, hey guys, welcome to our channel. We are Growing Up Without Borders, a family of five on a mission to visit every country in the world. And so the journey began onwards to Peshawar, which was only 30 kilometers or so from the Afghanistan border. We had so much fun. We met some of the local people, even famous people, had some delicious food, went to their markets, and well, you'll see. So let's go have some fun in this video. Feel a little silly because everyone here has like similar colors for coverings and that mine's like bright blue. I'm not gonna stand out at all. Alright, so we've got two rooms and this is where we're staying. This is what it looks like. Got a nice sitting area and then a big bathroom. Very big and spacious. So we checked into this beautiful spacious room here at um, don't even know the name, but it's in the university area and it's perfect because our driver, his parents literally live right down the road, so it couldn't have been better picked. So off we go. We just dropped off uh, our backpacks and we're gonna go discover Peshawar. Our very first stop of the day here is to come and try some delicious meat. We ordered the different meats that we wanted for lunch and we let them marinate in these amazing sauces. And in the meantime, we went out to discover a few more things. So Angelique and I jumped into another car, so um, his friend, I'm guessing, and we're now going, we're not sure where actually, but the others are behind us, so I'm not sure what today's going to bring, but it's going to be full of surprises. We're like 25, 20 something kilometers from Afghanistan. Which is crazy. And I was like, where are we going? And I was like looking that we're not going in the direction of Peshawar. And I was like, are we going to the border of Pakistan right now? <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I mean, this the border of Afghanistan. Yeah, but that's where I thought we were going. This is the gate. We've seen this gate many of times. Yeah. So this here is the gate to the Hyber Pass, which is the road leading to Afghanistan. You can imagine it's like 20 something, like 30 kilometers away. And you have the border, which is crazy. And 225 kilometers away is the capital city of Kabul. 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 Then out of the blue, this guy appeared and started talking to us, and he's a famous singer here in Pakistan named Zeke Afridi. We have your comments about your experience coming here. So far? So far. What's your experience and uh, did you like the in place? In Pakistan in general or just here? Just here. Just here. Well, it's our very first few minutes here. Okay. So, so far it's very welcoming because you have now come up to us to say hello. So, so. so, can we get your comment on the camera? Sure. Uh, it's about your, uh, as your tourist from uh, yeah, foreign. Yeah, yeah. So we want to uh, 
he had a few guys with him with all the cameras and everything to make a little interview. So we did that and went on our way. You are also a famous singer? Yes. This is, this is a famous singer from Hello. Pakistan, you guys. So now we have to check out your music and listen to it. Of course, I'll send you the link. Nice. This is great. So we just found um, a little history here that explains. Because this is the area, this area here, the people are like, it, it was tribal, like this was the tribe and so people and that singer that we just met was, he's from this area. So what we're reading here is the Khyber provides a platform for what must be the most extensive mountain panorama in the world. The Khyber Pass is this massive mountain range that links Afghanistan and Pakistan and throughout history it's been such an important trade route between Central and South Asia. It was also a very strategic and probably still is military location. Well that was pretty good timing. So his name is Zeke Afridi. I'm sure all of you guys from Pakistan know already but for the rest of the world that was a pretty neat encounter. What we're doing right now is we're just um, arranging for security to go further because there's going to be many checkpoints and we're going to go see if we can get all the way to the border of Afghanistan. Let's see I can't if, believe it. We'll see how far we get. So the reason why you want security is not for your safety but just because there's so many checkpoints yeah. to go through so then that way they can kind of wave you through. They've already kind of pre-checked you. And then you know what secondly if you continue on this road, continue to continue, we'll eventually end up in Europe somehow. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you could drive all the way back home. So when you come to this area, you definitely see a huge difference between somewhere like Islamabad. Like, a lot of the ladies are fully covered, like, even their face. You don't even see their eyes. Like, it's like a veil, almost. Um, it would be interesting to see how well you can see wearing one. I almost wish I could wear one just to blend in, because I thought we were going to blend in, and obviously we're not. Um, the other thing is, it's so heavily policed. You see armed people everywhere throughout the city, and that's the thing we, I guess we did see in Islamabad, but it's like much heavier here. So we did end up going to the border. We did a UE, and we're now back, going to go try the most amazing food. Special juice! And it's like a drive through system where they come to your car to order. And it's called the Afghan Sadaqat, whatever, juice center. It's good. It's freshly smoothie strawberries. That's just what we needed to like just give us a little bit of um, something in our bellies before we go try their local food. Okay, it is known for your food here, and I can already tell based on the flavors of the smoothie, that was amazing. So I can't wait to try the food. We got seated, and then the food started coming, and oh my gosh, we had no idea what we were in for. Oh, it's like a yogurt dip. Mm. It's very like sour. It's like a sour taste. To go with the meat. Barbecued, all they use is salt, no spices, but you get that charcoal flavor off the grill. It is so good. Try it. Oh wow. Is that amazing? Mm -hmm. Try this. Oh. One of this. What is this one? This is the fat, I think. It's not fat. Mm -hmm. What is it? Different it's different? What is it? I don't know. It's good. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's funny when you don't know what you're eating. <laughs> Look at this. Amazing. That's good. It's really it's good. Dry bite. It's very nice flavor flavor. The flavor's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Delicious. I loved it. So good. 
I can already smell the flavor of this green tea because the fans are blowing and the scent's coming this way. It smells really good. As you can tell, we like to be color coordinated. Whites, blues, greens, purples. I was and then get... there's me. I just wear whatever is in the suitcase. <laughs> hey, but can I just say something? I was, this is Julian's top, by the way. So I was going to be wearing green, but then I didn't have long enough sleep. So. All right, to give you guys pricing, those smoothie drinks that we got were under $1 each. And all that food came to basically 6,600, so under 30, like about 35 US dollars. So this here is the University of Agriculture and it's one of the biggest ones in the area. It's beautiful Great. too, eh? Look at their really crowns. Pretty. Lots of beautiful flowers and plants. So. Yeah. Gorgeous, eh? This is their classroom, look at that. I find it so fascinating when we go to schools or universities to see how it all works, you know? We're all trying to figure out what kind of tree this is. Anybody know? I think it's a plum or something. Let's see, the fruit looks like this. This fruit fell out of the tree, that's what it looks like. Anyone know what it is? One thing that is completely culturally different, and we see this in many different Muslim cultures, is um, best buddies just hanging onto each other's hands or hanging off each other. So you see that all the time, and yeah, it's so different. Next up today is to check out a college called Islamia College. So over in a distance for the students, they have all those bikes there so that they can just, you know, rent and take them anywhere, which is kind of cool. I haven't seen that yet in Pakistan. Oh my gosh, the school buildings look like an ancient school. Like, look at the style and the architecture of them. Yeah, and it looks massive. Yeah, it's huge. Well, if this is the same building, we kept driving by it, and it was absolutely gorgeous, the building. How much are your suitcases? Rice? Yeah. Uh, five thousand. Five? Oh. Uh, How much again? Uh, <laughs> uh, Four thousand rupees. Four thousand rupees. How much you want? I don't know. All right, let's go see inside. Let's see what he's gonna rig up here with us. We look for sandals for Chloe. Sandals. We have a mob following us. We do. We're right now in the textile area. Angelique's favorite. You can find all these beautiful fabrics. This is what you didn't see yesterday. So all these mannequins, all these mannequins are basically the materials that they put on. So they're not fully dresses. They're just the materials. Cool, eh? So the big question is, will Angelique find a suitcase to replace the broken one? from the cheap market we got in Malaysia. It wasn't really worth doing the upgrade. Yeah. Here in this trade you can find more cheaper things as compared to here this trade. So the further you go in, the cheaper it actually gets. All right, let's go find some shoes, Chloe. Bear for you. and blankets, the shoes and t-shirts, everything is inside. This is a true market. Holy. I've got the best idea in the world. What is it? I'm gonna go to a shop that prints pictures on the t-shirts and get two t-shirts. One from my mom that says I'm Jerry, one from my dad that says I'm Tom. Tom and Jerry. This one, I think this one would be better. Better. We're gonna walk away because it's still really cheap and I think that it's gonna break just like the other one we got. So we're gonna walk away and see if it takes 3,000. 3,000, take it or leave it. Let's see what happens. This is how you cross the street here. You 
you just kind of go with him and you just walk. Okay. And then he does the whole hand thing like stuff. And he starts the water and they all just stop. Usually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to go to a juice bar and get some really good juice. Uh, we are buying Angelique her suitcase yet again because <laughs> we need to get home. The other one's broken, so yeah. How much is it? 3500 which is like, uh, I don't know, like 20 US or something like that. 17. That's great. So, That's great. Yeah, That's what great. is it? 17 US? 17 US dollars, so like really good price. It has two wheels, but we're only like a flight We're only long. like, yeah, we're and getting closer. Expand, so this one's really good. It's all good. Do you have change or, yeah? Okay, cool. I think the spring's broken on it because um, it won't go down. We just needed to get home, though, right, Ashley? That's all. Okay, we're switching it up for 500 rupees more. We're getting the nice blue one, and it looks like that works. It's not expandable, but you're going to make it work, right, Ashley? All right, so we just got back to our hotel room. I just wanted to say two things. So one is that, if you didn't know, I just learned this in driving home, is that they make a lot of the footballs here. Looking at. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, so I'm they make here. they make a lot of the footballs for like the World Cup, and they're like some of the best ones here. Is really, where they like make soccer them. balls, footballs. Yeah, which is pretty interesting. And second thing is like when we're in Lahore and Islamabad. If you haven't checked those videos out, go check them out. But over there, you don't really need to be as much covered up with your hair and stuff because it is more modern. Here, everyone, even all the guys, wear traditional outfits. Women cover their hair. You have to wear longer clothing. So yes, that's why we are covered, just so in case you're curious of what to wear when you're here. All right, last thing is this art driver's been amazing. We've had him since arriving in Islamabad, and he's been like our best buddy, if you will. And today he's had so many phone calls. Every other minute, it's like, ring, ring, ring. It's why? like, he's so like busy. Selling a I think he's selling his home or something. Like, he's uh, moving out, and so he's supposed to be out tomorrow. So I don't know, but his phone kept doing it, and his family over kept calling. He's top his, helpful. Like, yeah. it's just... Oh, been, he's been amazing. It's revolutionized yes. our whole trip here. I think it's made everything just so helpful. He keeps us protected, he keeps us on the watch out, and he tells like the people who are kind of like begging for money to like go away. And he knows just where to go, and then he knows like where to go get the best yes. food and the best drinks and like he everything, because right he's from here, yes. so it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Adnan, yeah, thank for you taking so us much. on the grand tour of Islamabad and Peshawar. Yes. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching our tour of Peshawar. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.